And there are so many reasons for me why the lark is up there. At number one, I'm so happy it is. I think it's got the folk element, it's got beautiful melodies. Uh, the poem is such a beautiful one by George Meredith and the way Vaughan Williams kind of um, creates these images of the lark with music is incredible. And also it's a nostalgic as well with a backdrop of World War I. Um, it's this kind of snapshot of the beautiful countryside, um, uh, you know, and it and it's always gives me sort of, I don't know, my hair stand up, <laughs> you know, just listening to the piece and, and playing it um, because it's just such a special piece for people. I think there are lots of ways in which Vaughan Williams evokes these scenes. Um, I think he composed his own folk melodies. He went round Britain collecting folk tunes because he felt passionately about this tradition that was being lost. So I think the way he writes for the violin is amazing. Uh, the way the, the first few cadenzas start with just this violin starting from a low point, getting higher and higher. And, uh, and the poem talks about the lark getting ever higher and higher in the silver chain of sound. And, um, and so the way he explores this, and, and with the trills of the lark, you know. Uh... way it sort of flits around um, the melody of the main theme is just it's just beautiful well it's a really challenging piece I mean not only are there so many notes for the violinist to grapple with but also it's this sense of, of stillness and and that everybody has has stopped and and you feel this atmosphere in the hall when everything is is right and and so it's it's an amazing experience and it's almost like being in deep meditation, I'd say, um, going on stage and uh, I can't describe how special it is to play with, you know, musicians like the CBSO, the sound they make and being so close to them is, is a really incredible feeling. Well, the amazing thing about this piece is that the three cadenzas are interwoven into the piece. It's really original, um, and I mean, it's such a popular piece, you wouldn't think that something like this would be so incredibly forward-looking, but to start with kind of an improvisatory passage for the violin, although it is written uh, note by note meticulously by Vaughan Williams, but the way this improvisation starts is, is incredibly um, forward-looking, and the way it's written sends a misura, which means no time, no bar lines. So we've got this violin that can really sing and, and imitate the lark and, and feel freedom, really, which is what it's depicting. Some of the techniques that Vaughan Williams uses in this piece um, for the violin are, are really wonderful. We've got the lark, so I mean, if you've ever been lucky enough to hear uh, the wonderful voice of the lark, you'll hear these chirruping and trilling passages. Um, so he does that. And then these singing lines. Which is the most wonderful British theme. It's just fantastic.